Hello everybody here on YouTube. I'm just going to show you how much this inverter can take on a surge. It's rated for 9000 watts surge. Um, let's see, can I see it there? No, it doesn't show it on it, but here's my drills. I'm sorry, my chainsaws. The one on your right is it is. 2200 watts and we're going to test that and see how much this can take I'll, just, uh, I'll plug them in over here I'm about to see how much power it's, uh, it's taking And we have the chainsaw plugged in here. You can see 2200 watts plus a 500 watt light behind you. So, not the safest thing to be doing, but let's see if this light even flicker. watts or amps on our meter over here that's the one on the right hand side five thousand nine hundred if you could see that in the video that was the peak watts from the two thousands from this inverter which is running now Ready, one, two, and three. Didn't really see it that time. I'll zoom in on the... a bit better. On the meter. I was just testing it there. And I got about nine... Oh, sorry, 8,900 watts. She saw it were up on its limit here. Let me try it again. Six, eight point three. Hope the video caught that. I'll try it again. Eight point eight. I'll just let it run. And today, even flickering the lights. Well, let's go on to the inverter. I know you can't really hear it, but. See any lights flicker down here. So I don't think any of them do. I'll just try to get a better idea. Sorry about the shaky video. I see can the with a the surge trip it out. Or do we lose lights? There we go. I don't know if you can pick it up on the video, the, the main light here is starting just dimming. See it there, you might just have seen the small bit. That's actually very loud. All right, we'll go back over here and we'll, um, we'll just get the surge again. A constant surge again. There we go. Just want to keep it out, skipping and pausing the video to see if can get all in one go. Yeah. I'm just pulling my headphones, it's very loud. I think it's 4,700, including the light.
That's better than that. That's four to over to four thousand watt from a three thousand watt inverter, and the fan hasn't even turned on yet. Ah, oh, sorry, and plus a light as well. Sorry for the shaky video again. It's going to get all lively. No fan. It's not even warm. I'll pause it and I'll see can I get the temperature of it while it's running. Here we go again. I've taken off all the panel off it. Um, my batteries are 12.9. As you can just see, one and two. That's an actually nine. It looks like a five, but it's a nine. Um, to be honest, it hasn't really got hot. I can see that. That's 50. That's not Celsius now. That's F. Can we just focus on that? There you go. I'll just check the alternatives. I'll try it again there now. Uh, we'll see. I think I can hold the chainsaw and get the reading for you at the same time. Not easy with two hands. The fan's kicking in now. She must be getting a small bit warm. fan running there now that's everything running light a 500 watt light and a 2200 watt chainsaw I'll just check the temperature again and that's been running previous to this as well just check everything let's go a bit closer That's it. Absolutely no heat in it at all. That's all it's staying at. I'll just change it to Celsius. This is for me. 15, 10. Nothing. No heat. And I'll just turn it off. I have a light on my my tripod here. So let's just see. No bother. Absolutely amazing machine. Just turn it back on there. Yeah, oh, come on. Wait a second now. We have lights. There you go, guys. Hope this is a uh, beneficial to you and show you this is a cheap inverter and I've had it for six months and I seem to have no problems with it whatsoever. Only I overcharge two these two battery banks, this one on the right and this one on the left, at the one time and I shouldn't. I wish I should have only charged six of my batteries at one time and I fried the circuit board. I'll well, show it in other videos just in case you haven't seen it. As you can see up here, these are all fried. This is from overcharging, and nothing has affected this inverter 
running normally as in normal use powering anything at home the only problem i seemed to have was was this overcharging on the circuit board and as you see it's just you just take it out and replace it so that's my test for today guys so i think it's fair to say it's a very good inverter as you can hear it doesn't no sound it's quite as a mouse and that's really it. So hopefully um if anybody really wants to get them, should get them. This has been tested now, it's only seven months now today that I've having this and everything works fine. Any load, any induction load, anything. Nothing starting up as you've seen on the chainsaw, there's a high induction load of eight thousand watts. This is rated for nine thousand watt surge and plus I had a five thousand or five hundred watt light as well. So we're pulling two five nine watts now. Oh, that's right. oh five five nine watts. Sorry, I read that wrong. On this, so uh, seems to be a great light, a great inverter. That's all I can say now, guys. As you can just look at the size of the cables going in here. I don't know how to even measure that. They won't even look. They won't even bend with my finger. They're very strong. Very thick cable. I said they're. 24 square I'd say to look at but I'm not sure what that is in American wire gauge so you can try and figure that one out yourself okay there guys that's it thanks for watching and hopefully someone buys it and tests it as well so we get a cheap inverter for everyone thanks guys thanks for watching